Team Cyprin, once again, welcome to my channel. I'm super excited. The support you are giving me, wow, 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 wow. May all my God bless you. So today, I just want to update you about the impeachment of uh, Rigati Gashawa. As you all know, uh, Rigati Gashawa was impeached in uh, members of parliament. Uh, Badai kaweza kupelekwa pale senate ambapo tuliona speaker alikuwa anataka kwamba watu specific wachaguliwe ili waende kusikiza but Edwin Sifuna alikataa katakata akasema kwamba lazima uh, the house lazima senate mzima iweze kusikiza hiyo kesi yake iweze kusikiza ile a uh, video iweze kuona hiyo evidence ambayo imeweza kupeana vile vile mliweza kumsikia gashawa akisema yeye mambo zote zenye amekuwa akifanya ameyaiga kutoka kwa mdosi wake and then that's why you, we we always say kufa makanga kufa dereva uh, it's not like uh, ruto yeye ni msafi awaoni shida zake ama awaoni makosa yake wanaona makosa ya rigadi kama mdoga amekosea basi na mkubwa amekosea because wakati ulikuwa unaona zile video ambazo rigadi alikuwa anacheza the same same message yenye rigadi alikuwa anapeana kwa watu at some point kuna videos ambazo zilikuwa zinaonekana pia ruto akiongea the same language so i am i am asking myself kenyans Mbona hawa maempisi wanatubebea akili? Hawa waempi wametuona kiasi ya kwamba sisi ni washenzi, wajinga, watu ambao hatujielewi. Na mkae mkijua. Kuna rumors kwamba this MPs kila mtu alipewa 500,000 so that wapige yes kumuondoa Rigathi Gashawa. And the, we all know Rigathi Gashawa the reason as to why wanangangana wanapigana na Ruto ni because Rigathi Gashawa pia anataka the share iwe equal. Kitu yenye wanapigania na Ruto ni vile mali wanaiba, Ruto anataka chukue yote, Rigathi akiwa hapo anaangalia, wewe nikuulize, unaweza kaa na mtu mahali fulani mmepata 1000. Akwambie yeye anachukua 70000, wewe uchukue 30000. Utakubali? Definitely uwezi ukakubali. So that's the main reason as to why Rigathi wanapigana na Ruto. Na Ruto wants someone he can control like a puppet. Ruto wants is someone anaweza control control vile ana control akina kimani chungwa akina ana control akina kiika na umeanza kuona like they are saying kiika atakuwa deputy president mara baba vitu kama hizo so Ruto anataka someone akiingia pale ataenda control kama puppet akienda ibe milioni kumi, huyu mwingine ampatie moja yeye ako sawa aezi akaongea na hiyo ndio Kenya tuko kwa sasa mimi huwa najiuliza hivi. Hawa maempis tumewaweka pale watutumikie. Atujawaweka pale watumikie Ruto. Na vile vile mkumbuke kwamba kuna hiyo term limit yenye inafaa kuongezwa tu 7 years. Itakuwa ni furaha yao sababu pia hiyo ikiongeza definitely na wao wataka 7 years. So these people they only care about themselves. They don't care about common mwananchi. Tukilia tunataka barabara awaski. Tukilia tunataka madawa kwa hospitali zetu awaski. Tukilia tunataka watoto wa university wapate pesa wasome vizuri awaski. Tukisema kuna shule ambazo hawana hata classrooms awaski. But Ruto wants to control this Kenya and Ruto wants to buy this Kenya using Adani. Guys as we talk, Ketrako ishachukuliwa na Adani Group. Wakati hizi nini zote zilikuwa zinafanyika hii migorogoro yote, hizi distractions zote, Adani alikuwa Kenya na alikuwa kotini. Wewe kama mkenya, if I ask you, why you are aware kwamba Adani alikuwa kotini? ndio ujue vile Ruto anataka kutubebea akili so that's why Ruto is fighting so hard achukue atoe rigadhi kashawa kwa cheo because rigadhi amekuwa kwamba ni kama anamzuilia wanaiba wote wote wawili ni, we, ni wezi hakuna mtu msafi hapa wote wawili ni wezi wameiba 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 kabisa so sisi ndio maana tukasema kwamba kama wanaenda waende wote so after that experience nini uh, Uh, evidence ilipeano sasa kesi ilikuwa imepelekwa high court high court imeirusha kwa judge ja, 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 ni justice mother come so hapa ndio tutajua kamba itakuwa mimi kwa maoni yangu hao watu wote wawili hakuna hata mtu mmoja anafaa kuketi kwa ofisi
Ruto wakati walikuwa na uhuru akilia kwamba uhuru ana mistreat. Ruto hakutolewa na uhuru. Uhuru hakumficha. Alimwacha akamaliza tamu yake mambo ikaisha. Alafu mimi najiuliza je, hao watu ambao tunashinda tukisema kwamba sisi ni wacha Mungu. Tunamjua Mungu yupi wakati mwenzake anakukosea uwezo kumsamia. Wewe unataka ucheze kwamba wewe ni msafi, huyu mwenzako yeye ndio sasa mchafu, yeye hataki kumhurumia, yuko hapo amenyamanza hata hajaongea. Ndio mara mingi nasema hivi I'm sorry kwa watu wa kanisa. Kwenda kanisa si tu umepata tikiti ya kwenda miguni ama kwenda kanisa si tu unamjua Mungu. In fact watu wengi wanaenda kanisa kutificha pale kuficha maofu ili isemekane kwamba yule ni mtu wa kanisa. Lakini ni reality. Watu wengi wenye wanaenda kanisa rooni zao chafu. Chafu sana. It's so unfortunate like uh, even our our our, our courts Zimekuwa compromised. Hawezi wakasimamia ukweli. Where are we heading as a country? Do we have Kenya? Like for instance now, vile inasemekana, Adani is Ruto. And now if Adani is Ruto, what will happen wakati ya shaa chukua kila kitu? Epo timenda. Po timenda. Really itakuja kuenda. Izi vitu zote kubwa kubwa zimenda. That means we are going to be slaves in our own country. Who wants to be a slave in our own country? Ruto wants to turn Kenya to be like Uganda where by M7 we will rule forever. Kifo ndi itatua M7 ni kwa kiti. Anyway, uh, wata tusome tusikie vile mother koome na, na gashawa kesi yake vile imeweza kupiano kwa, kwa special seat ili tuweze kusikia. Inside DP Gashawa is new petition to block Senate impeachment and last minute plea to CJ Kome. Deputy President Rigadi Gashawa has launched a desperate legal push to halt his looming impeachment by the Senate. In a last minute plea to suspend the impeachment process, Gashawa's legal team on Friday requested Chief Justice Mother Kome to set up an urgent hearing on the case before Tuesday. Hiat of the Senate is proceedings slated for Wednesday, October 16th. Gashawa's legal team is pushing for the embanneling of a bench by Chief Justice Mother Kohome to hear the petition. They argue that without immediate intervention, the Senate will proceed with the impeachment process, rendering and further legal challenges moot. Now, guys, kuna pia nata ruma sinasemekana kwamba liwe liwalo pia senate imekuwa compromised kuna watu wengi sana wamekuwa compromised wataenda kupewa pesa wapige ye. so that's why unaona kwamba rigadi gashawa is pushing so hard at least ifike kwa cj ama kwa mata karua a nini kome watafute hiyo special pinch iweze kusikiza na iweze kuangalia the evidence given in their letter to the chief justice they pressed for agents stating that the substratum substratum of the petitions will cease to exist once the Senate begins its proceedings. But that's not all. Gashawa is not leaving anything to chance. Despite sending a letter to CJ Kome, Gashawa filed a fresh petition submitted to the High Court seeking to block the Senate from considering the National Assembly's resolution to remove him from office. The deputy president this team has been scrambling for favorable rulings since the impeachment vote was passed on Tuesday with 281 MPs adopting 11 charges against him. This includes accusation of gross misconduct, corruption, and divisive politics. Gashawa, however, maintains that the process was flawed, accusing Parliament of failing to conduct adequate public participation. Through senior counsel Paul Muite, Gashawa has argued that the impeachment process was ridiculed, riddled, with falsehoods and politically motivated attacks. He further claims that the National Assembly debated issue outside the motion is scoop, including allegations of undermining President William Ruto rather than focusing on constitutional breaches. High Court Church had previously granted a temporary conservatory order preventing the Senate from admitting, debating, or acting on the impeachment motion until the matter is resolved. However, the case must be heard next week to, to determine whether the Senate can proceed with the debate on Wednesday. 
The crux of a, a Gashawa's argument is that the impeachment motion does not meet the threshold set by Article 145, Clause 1 of the Constitution, which outlines the grounds for removing a deputy president. It claims that the public participation exercise, which is a constitutional requirement, was a mere formality, lacking genuine engagement with the citizenry. Definitely, we saw. Gashawa has also raised the concerns due about alleged intimidation of MPs during the impeachment vote, insisted that the process was conducted with undue eyes to prevent judicial scrutiny. The impeachment exercise was designed to please the president rather than examine constitutional violations. Gashawa remarked in maintaining that the motion was political driven rather than legally justified. The High Court has since referred the case to Chief Justice Kome for the appointment of a bench to hear the constitutional is issues at a play. Several other petitions have been filed by Gashawa's allies challenging the legitimacy of the impeachment process and the Parliament is appealed to oversee such matters. In his ruling, Justice Lawrence Mugambi agreed that the constitutional questions raised were significant enough to warrant a multi-church bench. The petitions have attracted significant public interest with men questioning whether the current legal framework allows for meaningful public participation in such a high stakes process. So, mimi personally kitunajua, in our courts, it appears me answer kukua compromise the opo, um, the High Court, when you may hand over to Chief Justice Mother Kawame, I hope maybe something's going to happen. If if someone see Gashawa passing by, tell him power is a temporary thing. I want you Kenya. Anyway, today I don't want to read some comments. Now, guys, we will come to the What's your take about this case? A case or what about what you think? Nini need to happen? I'm away when we knew. Do you think as much as Pia Gashawa is corrupt? Yeah, Pia Akona Mambuzake. Do you think the way MPs were the BF was the right way? I'm a Unona Kwamba while Kwa and Ataka could please the president. So, Apple ko comment section kindly tell us so that you can know what you think about this video. Anyway, to Tim Cyprian, all I can say thank you so much, Manzi. I always salute you. I love you so much. May Almighty God bless you. And in case you're watching this channel for the first time, kindly subscribe so that you get notified. And tell we upload new videos so i will say thank you so much see you in our next video